Roman was founded over a hundred years ago, and it's kept its pristine beauty for over a thousand years. Um, Bigfoot sightings have been here since early 1950s. Um, Indians told tales about Sasquatch living around here before before America was even a country. Um, we're on the other side of Bigfoot Lake now. Um, no sign of him yet, but we're gonna keep looking. This place being so notorious for um, Bigfoot sightings was visited by well-known around the world uh, Patterson Films, which shot the original Bigfoot video in 1967. I think it was somewhere in the 60s, actually. 1967. I saw it on YouTube. <sighs> I'm, uh, Herman Byers. I'm the amateur anthropologist on this expedition. And this place is pretty known for some pretty good footprints here. I mean, not many fakes have been found in the area. So that's, uh, you know, really good there. And, you know, I'm just going to be looking around. So it's, no t it's winter, so, you know, they're all over the place. We're here in uh, Harriman National Park, part of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. And the only way to travel through here is with cross-country skis or snowshoes. And if you're Bigfoot. You've all heard this before, but he smelt like a garbage Like dump. a skunk if you combined it with like a, a dying Shadrach. Now, I don't know if you know what Shadrach is. It's the other Bigfoot that believed to live by the Indians in the Pocatello region area. Surprisingly, this is still a lake, um, and I think there's fish under there. Not positive. Actually, I'm 100% sure there are fish under there. We are 100% sure there are fish under there. And it looks like pretty salt ice, because look at these little footprints. What are they? Fox. Looks like you yeah, have fox or maybe a... Yeah, that's like probably a fox. Let me go all the way. Is that, is that something? I'm getting my binoculars out. Yeah, all the way across the lake, so it's pretty strong ice. And you know, this would be a prime spot for Bigfoot to live, because, well, the forest no, over here and the yeah, forest over here, water plus fish over here, and I'm, you know, I've heard stories of Bigfoot eating fish, and that's, overall, it's a good, it's overall yeah, it's, a good habitat to live Actually, it's good for bear, too, and you know, bear and Bigfoot go hand in hand in territory. Oh, they're, they're scared they actually fight. Here. They yeah. actually fight over yeah. the territory. Dude, a Bigfoot would kill a bear. You know, I have a theory, I think that, uh, the reason we never find bodies of Bigfoot is because obviously they're really smart if you know, yeah. think about it. We've never, you know, they've never been caught. But they have, I think they have close family connections. And so, like, one of them dies. They're kind of like people, they take the body with them, you know, like buried or something. Because yeah. I think they're really smart. You know, I mean, we haven't discovered them yet, so obviously they're, they're one of the smartest animals out there. And I'm hoping we'll find one, but, you know, what are the chances? Yeah. We're now half halfway around the lake, and um, we're about to start trek trek back. But I have no fear; we will keep footage going. And um, I don't know if you know this about Harriman, but 
It's a very isolated place. Yeah, it's very, like in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere, and to spend the night, you actually have to um, snow, either A, snowshoe in, or B, um, cross country ski in. Me and the rest of us uh, cross country skied in, but uh, for our film crew, they snowshoed in, obviously. And um, yes, there's some footage to come, but we're halfway down the lake. As you can see, there's the sea fountains down there. Very beautiful place. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you very, can. Yeah, you can. Very beautiful place. Yes. Um, we just missed some tracks down there. We didn't have our camera out, unfortunately, because of battery lines. But we just saw some tracks. I think we headed out. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, last night, actually, this is day two, really. Uh, yesterday, we spent the entire day kind of scoping the area. And we, uh, we skied at night, and that's probably the scariest thing ever, because you imagine stuff, you know, and... No wind, it's dead silent. This is definitely the perfect place for Bigfoot. It's and uh, it's eerie, yeah. And uh, you know, frequent skiers here, frequent skiers here have actually seen Bigfoot. Well, you know what we they think are Bigfoot. Hold on, Bigfoot uh, footprints. You know, oh man, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be really scary again tonight because yeah, you know, it's scary. We found some sort of cave, as you can see right behind me, and it's actually pretty deep if you look in there. There's footprints. Recent snowfall has covered it, actually. Footprints are leading into it, and we're actually pretty scared right now. Um, could be a fox, could be a wolf, not a wolf. I'm skeptical. It could even be a mountain lion. Um, but we've got our ski poles, so oh. worst case, we can... Yeah, we're going to get out of here. It's going to... You know, you don't want to wake him up and he'll be hungry at us or something. Do you have a light? You can turn a flashlight in there. It was pretty far, pretty far back there. Yeah, right you know? see it. It's, it's like that's just the head, of the head of the cave and then goes all the way back there. Okay, yeah, we got really lucky. As we're on the ski trail, we found some footprints and they're fox, you know, that, that's, that's really cool. We're hoping to see one. Here I'm pulling up my little tiny book here, but you know, full of footprints, we can find anything. And you know, just saying, Bigfoot footprint is not in here. So anything we find that looks like a Bigfoot right? footprint, obviously, you know. No, guys, seriously. Hey, hey. You guys should hear that, though, right? Yeah, I heard it. Could could have been anything. Else. I guess. I'm turning it off. It's obviously bad. I don't want to keep doing these kind of stupid things. Unfortunately, if you want to find Bigfoot, you can't always stay on the trails, or else you won't find him because he does not stay on the trails. Yeah. He's Bigfoot. So we're gonna go up off the trail a little bit, just to get out and about, stretch our legs a little bit, cross country skis. Plus, this is a good area. I mean, it's surround. It's full of trees. I mean, and it's a. Very rocky it's, back it's close there. to the lake. It's it's close, close to, the to the lake, but close enough away from cross yeah. country trails that it's isolated, it's, which is what Bigfoot wants. Yeah, this place. Yeah, it's even more isolated than the isolated place. All right. Well, I'm here destroying nature. That's what I like to do. Oh, well, I found another cave thing. Smaller cave, and yeah, it's smaller, but it's still possible. Maybe he like moved, maybe he moved his boulders, you know, like block his door. You can see where he blocked it. Where he definitely blocked the door, the entrance into it. I don't know if you guys can see down in there, but there's definitely two rocks down there um, blocking the entrance. Yeah, very weird positioning too. It doesn't look like it's natural. Uh, there's no telling. You just uh -oh. at this point, you just you just gotta go with it. You just gotta go with the flow. Okay, that's good for now. Okay, John. Um, we're three fourths of the way around the lake, and we just found some poop, and it's really gross. 